Hello everyone, this is a personal reading requested by my viewer and she wants to know about a situation involving an ex that she'd like to be back with. So let's see what comes out in the cards. The energy at this time right now, what is the energy right now? Okay, this one. We have the King of Swords. So with that, I feel that people are, the person, you are in your head a lot. And so you're trying to make plans and you want to move forward according to these plans. Trying to rationalize, intellectualize, and find a way to make things work. How the situation evolves in four weeks time is going to deal with communication and... I feel like even being held back, the communication being held back. What's coming in to help you is the universe is calling out to you. It's trying to give you what you've wanted. And the universe is trying to bring something back to life for you. And let's just see. We have the two of wands. So universe is trying to pull you to go through this new gateway new possibilities in into this new new life new new world for yourself um and i feel like this is all definitely surrounding your home environment but i just see a lot of in your mind Playing with this, the situations and the circumstances a lot, maybe excessively, is causing for a delay of some sort and also causing you to not hear the message that the universe is trying to show you. So to hear it, we want to hold back on letting the mind run wild, but also with this king of swords there is some positive energy there in that we have you tr using your thoughts strategically it's not like you're just sloppy with it but sometimes even though you're trying to strategically use your thoughts in some situations where we have resistance it's best just to let off of thinking about it i'm not seeing any action steps here in this what I am seeing as far as action steps is you need to start looking at new opportunities what are available to you you've had this it's put up now it's not moving at this time and I feel like that's him he's not moving at this time and so um, one way I see this going that is showing here one possibility depending on how he takes it is um, it, he could be receiving the call but I see more this is as you receiving the call the universe is trying to show you something to to advance yourself to move forward to progress and in the past with this relationship between you and him there was an ending and at this time the energy of the present yeah, shuffle some more. The energy between you and him at the present. This one. Mm -hmm. Is the Knight of Cups. So, you guys have shared your emotions, bared your emotions to one another. You've had that interchange. And emotions are being stirred up again. What is unseen is, okay, see, now we're back to the mind. We have the Eight of Swords, and it's like I was picking up with this King of Swords and this Page of Swords. It's like around and around and around in your thoughts about this situation. It, you really will benefit yourself by, by letting go. There's a sense of, I can't do anything because of how I feel. And I feel like it's from both of you. And... um. I feel it differently. I feel like 
he can't get over the thoughts of how much hurt it cost him at the beginning when you broke up with him. I feel like for you, it's uh, not wanting to let go and, and move on. And I feel like for you in general, this is just your continuing to look for how am I going to have the love that I deserve in my life? How am I going to realize this? How is it going to manifest for me the love that I'm wanting in my life? And then here we have the, as a challenge, is we have the coming and going. Are we coming? Are we going? Are we staying? What are we doing? It's it's that. It's the uh, fly by night. It's like here today, gone tomorrow. You keep changing your mind type of energy. Um, the next position we have here is the external influence is the nine of pentacles. So the, the thing is, it seems that around you, people are happy and content with the way they've got things set up. And so they're finding their peace. I feel like he's finding his peace to himself again. And I feel also that there's a calling for you to... Get, I, and it's it's so hard to tell you you know to just kind of let off of wanting somebody but that's really something that is coming strongly through for you because it this person lavishes and enjoys their their freedom their independence their self stability their self sustenance they're they're content in their singleness and they're taking care of all of their own needs so your best course of action we have the three of cups here i see you your best course of action is to continue to to love and be available to love and to enjoy but celebrating life instead of worrying about how these things are going to come about go about set, celebrating life it's time for you because the type of person you want is this type of person you want somebody who is in this content state of mind you don't want somebody who's conflicted like that this person is attracted to this energy this person is not and if you stay if you're in this type of energy where you're Running around about your thoughts, letting them run you crazy and make you feel crazy, or um, can't control them, uh, obsessing, then what you're going to attract is somebody who is fly by night, is what I'm getting this message here. What is the best thing for you to do, honey? It looks like you need to get together with your girlfriends. You need to get together with your girlfriends. You need to enjoy your life, what you do have available. Enjoy eating, enjoy drinking, enjoy life. Do that. And from this headspace, from this lifestyle, from this mentality is where you're going to attract that type of person. And if you do this, the most likely outcome for you is a new man, new relationship, new beginning, new opportunity but you have to be willing to be happy on your own you have to celebrate what you do have instead of worrying about what you want to get and um that right now it, it's like you're so focused on love that it's turning into worry and so it's time for i i feel like you know, the thing with the other person that we were reading about previously didn't pan out the way you wanted it to. You've gotten tired and now you, your mind is remembering the good old, old times with this person. And you know what? That, that's great. But there's a call that you need to hear. And that is to be in this energy right here. This is your power energy for you to become content on your own, doing your own thing. And from that headspace, you bring in this relationship that you're looking for. So is it going to be with this guy? The cards are not really revealing that for us today. But what they are saying is that you can have the type of relationship you want and you can have a new beginning that is stable and secure. Or you can continue to worry and... um 
worry on let these uh, let things keep pulling you into the same position where you're not progressing and then from this position anybody you attract they're not going to last long they're going to be like the knight of rods mr fly by night mr here today gone tomorrow okay so thank you so much for waiting uh, I always do have a three to five day turnaround and sometimes you get lucky and I can get you out the same day, but that doesn't always work out. So thank you for your patience and waiting for your reading. And if you would like to request your own personal reading, you can follow the directions on the screen. Look below the video for more information or go to my website for details. My website is lphtarot.com. And uh, do check the other playlists and videos on my channel. There's your monthly and bi-monthly readings by Zodiac sign. Make sure you watch your sun, moon, and rising signs. And then there are daily general money and romance tarot readings for all of us. So um, again, for more information on, on the services I provide and the pricing and all of that stuff, you can go to my website, lphtarot.com, as in Love, peace, and happiness to you and yours, and of course me and mine. Until next time.